Hello, friends. Welcome to episode 177 of the Nope Coach podcast. Stop seeking simple answers to complex questions. I'm your host, Suzanne Kohlberg. It's so common to come across blog posts, articles, podcast episodes, webinars, trainings that are the top three tips to blah or the top five ways to X or the top nine secrets to Y, et cetera, et cetera. And I've always had a personal ick factor as soon as I see these headings. And I just wanted to unpack that today. Often these posts and blogs and podcasts and books and whichever the trainings are really well-intentioned, but there isn't a simple answer to a complex question. And a lot of the things that they don't factor in is that every person is different. We have unique privileges. We have unique biology. We have unique life situations. And it can't be boiled down to just do these three things. How often have you read an article? Like I'm thinking way back in the times where I used to, before the rise of online where we would buy magazines or newspaper clippings and I can think for myself many a time I followed a diet to drop you know five kilos in five days or seven pounds in seven days or you know whatever it may be and many of these things weren't sustainable like what did you do after the five days or after the seven days they didn't factor in what were you really losing? Like people nominally usually want to drop fat, yet when they do these fast-paced things, they end up dropping water and muscle. And, you know, even the fast money things, like do these things to make fast money, usually results in people offering really big discounts or um, having promotions, but then they need to deliver on those. So say you have a a one-to-one coaching package and you slash it in half and offer it for half price, yeah, you have an instant hit of money, but then you need to deliver on that package and that person on your books for half the price prevents you from bringing in a full paying client. So I really want you to consider next time that you're scrolling or Googling or searching for something and you can kind of attempted by the, here's the, you know, top three ways or top five tips or, you know, seven ways to do this. Are you seeking a simple answer to a complex problem or question? What's the longevity of this answer? Like, is it going to give you a quick win, quick dopamine hit of, yes, I've got this result. But what is the flip side of that? If you are massively discounting your prices in business, is the flip side that you then need to deliver that and actually gets in the way of you bringing in further in- income? Are you setting yourself up for people who just hold out for your discounts? I know of more than one company that I just never buy full price from because I know that they'll have sales. They have them so regularly. Then, you know, I've trained their audience to wait for the sale. If you're trying to, you know, drop weight and you do some shred it challenge, How long are you going to be able to sustain the things for? Because how long you do the actions for is how long you'll get the results for. And I think in life, when we really overcome that instant hit and that instant dopamine hit and the instant gratification of getting a run on the board to knowing that it's going to take time, it's going to take the time that it takes and trusting that you've got yourself and your back and you can do this, is going to make a world of difference. I'm sure you've heard this story before, but it bears repeating about the boy who found the cocoon and could see the butterfly struggling and it's struggling and struggling and struggling and the boy in its in an effort to help cut the cocoon to release the butterfly. But by cutting the cocoon inadvertently, accidentally crippled the butterfly for life because it's in the struggle to release from the cocoon that the butterfly grows the strength to fully expand and extend their wings. So sometimes when we are going through 
life, when we're making a change, when it feels hard, it reminds me of that saying, it's darkest before the dawn. When we're so close to quitting and giving up is usually when we're moments from our breakthrough. Yet if we give in or give up or look for a really simple, let's get out of this really quickly response, that thing may actually be the thing that cripples us from having long-term success. And many of us do this, like someone just tell me what to do. Yet when we give away our autonomy in the moment, it costs us in the long run. So yeah, just something I've been pondering today. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like what, what are your thoughts when you see here's the top three ways or the top five ways or the top seven tips? Like what goes through your mind? And, you know, how can we trust ourselves to stay in the room, to keep taking action, to keep turning up for ourselves, even when it's hard? Hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you are watching on YouTube, please leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I love seeing those numbers tick up day by day. It, it warms my heart. If you're listening on um, to audio, if you could leave a review, I'd really, really appreciate it. And yeah, any episodes that you enjoy, please share them in social media. You can tag me, you can send them to friends. It really helps get the word out and reach more people. And the other thing, I'm recording this, it's what, the 24th of October. Um, next week, it's November, <laughs> the note coach's favorite month. So where are some areas in your life that you struggle to say no to? And yeah, let me know. Send me an email, info at suzannekolbig.com. Where are some conversations that you avoid because it's difficult? Because yeah, November, the note coach's favorite month. I want to you know dive into ways that we can take steps to be able to say no to others so that we can say yes to ourselves. Looking forward to it. Thanks for listening. See you on the next one. Bye for now.